Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss the project about SVM on neural network based diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy. In this paper, an automated approach for classification of the disease diabetic retinopathy using fundus images is presented. A fundus camera or retinal camera is a specialist low power microscope. Then, the evaluation of the proposed automated diagnosis system of the diabetic retinopathy have been performed by using a set of images, which is a combination of normal NPTR and PTR affected images. The original image, which is of sizes, is converted to grayscale image. After that, adaptive histogram equalization is applied to improve the contrast of the images. Then, DWT is applied and the sizes of images is reduced into the images. Then, major filter response is applied to reduce the noise in the images. Finally, fuzzy C means clustering is applied to segment the blood vessels in the images. Here, we are providing a new methods in diabetic retinopathy disease with cases vision loss rapidly. Then, first we will load the input retinal images. The next one is adaptive histogram equalization. Adaptive histogram equalization is a computer image processing techniques used to improve contrast in images. It differs from ordinary histogram equalization in the respect that the adaptive method computes several histograms, each corresponding to a distant section of the images and uses them to lightness values of the images. Adaptive histogram equalization in its straight forward from presented above both with, with and without contrast limiting requires the computation of a different neighborhood histogram and transformation functions for each pixel in the images. It makes the method very expensive computationally. The next one is DWT. DWT is the discrete wavelet transform will be applied for adaptive histogram equalization. A discrete wavelet transform in any wavelet transform for which the wavelets are sampled. As with other wavelet transform, a key advantage is it has over Fourier transformation is temporal resolution. It captures both frequency and location information. And next one is K-mean segmentation. K-mean segmentation sets the fine for grayscale images from the pre-processed images. Features were extracted by classification process. Process. Then, then it will provide the segmentation of blood vessels. The next one is future extraction using GLCM. GLCM calculations uses only the values in the process. Then it's derived for using the different formulas. These statistics provide information about the texture of an image such as angular, second moment, entropy, contrast, inverse difference moment, correlation, sum of square, sum of average variance, entropy will be calculated for texture images. The next one is PNN classification. PNN classification. PNN classification is segment image will be classified the PNN classification then it will provide the normal and abnormal images. Now let's see about the execution part. I am having main.m files and select file right click run file diabetic retina for the then select load image button. Here we have to select the input image. The next pre-processing. Then input color retinal images are of poor quality so they were pre-processed using grayscale conversion for input images then original image will be converted to grayscale image then adaptive histogram equalization will be applied adaptive histogram equalization is a computer image processing techniques used to improve contrast in images adaptive histogram equalization in its straight forward from presented above both with and without contrast limiting requires the computational of a different neighborhood histogram and transformation functions for each pixel in an images then next one is wavelet transform the next one is fuzzy k mean segmentation then severity is high then in this process will be fine for grayscale images from the pre-processed images features was extracted for the classification process it will provide the segmentation of blood vessels the next one is future extraction using GLCMs. Divide the each element by the sum of all elements. The elements of the GLCM may now be considered the probabilities of finding the relationship. Calculate the selected features. This calculation uses only the values in the GLCM. Several statistics informations are derived from this. Different statistics information then contrast correlation inverse difference then sum of square sum of average variance entropy will be calculated for texture images. Then this one is uh, future extraction and uh, sensitivity and specificity is calculated to you see. Finally, the segment image will be classified by PNN classification. It will provide the normal and abnormal images. Images. Then, 
here we are providing the new methods for diabetic retinopathy disease which cases vision loss rapidly we input color images are of poor quality so they were pre-processed images grayscale conversion for input images then adaptive histogram will be applied the next discrete wave rate transform matching filter then next one is came in segmentation will be fine for grayscale images from pre-processed images then future extraction were extracted for classification process then it will provide the segmentation of blood vessels then finally the images will classify by pnn classification thank you